What up, big night? I'm Ricky, and I have two things in common with these two men. The first thing's pretty obvious, swag. The second thing is we are all college dropouts. Now, I think in today's society, dropping out of college has kind of been romanticized. You hear these stories of people dropping out of colleges and starting businesses and getting rich, and suddenly they have Lamborghinis like Kanye West, and they're swimming in a pool of gold coins, and it's awesome. Well, it wasn't like that for me. For me, dropping out of college was my big fail moment. I had no direction, and I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. But if this talk was about that, it would be kind of sad. Uh, so I wanted to look at it in a positive light. I wanted to share some lessons I learned from dropping out of college. I wanted to kind of lay out uh, what happened, what I learned from it, and where I am today. So I'm going to share my four lessons learned. Uh, the first lesson is finishing things is way better than not finishing things. <laughs> if, if you have the choice, finish it, especially if it's Mortal Kombat. So I'm a habitual non-finisher. I, uh, if I'm eating a bagel, I finish all of it but one bite. It drives my wife crazy. I didn't even finish this slide. <laughs> so in trying to combat my non-finishing, uh, I'm a web developer and I have this idea. What if I create 12 apps in 12 months? I create one for every month. It's the, the way to encourage myself to finish things. So I did it and most things people didn't care about. But uh, I built one app that people actually liked called fakegirlfriend.co. Uh, and it got used over 200,000 times. And now I can tell my parents, well, I don't have a degree, but I built an app that lets lonely men text with a fake girlfriend. <laughs> uh, the second lesson is take risk. Taking risk is awesome. When I dropped out of college, I had no idea what to do with my life. So I did what most people do when they don't know what to do with their life. I moved to New York City. <laughs> I, I moved to uh, specifically a loft in Bushwick, Brooklyn that was described as the New York Times as being known for their giant raucous parties, revelers occasionally urinate in the halls. <laughs> I'm proud to say I did not urinate in the halls. Uh, and so many great things in my life happen from that one risk of moving to New York with no job and no plan. Uh, I met my beautiful wife, I got connected in the New York tech scene, and none of it would have happened if I didn't take the risk. And probably the number one thing until today was meeting Chitty from Chitty Bang. Uh, but I actually got retweeted by Raekwon today, so that kind of tops meeting Chitty Bang. Uh, so the third lesson is get help. When we think of the American dream, we think of words like self-made, DIY, and bacon. Uh, <laughs> none of those really have to do with uh, asking for help. It's all about doing yourself. So I like to think that when I dropped out of college, all the good things that happened happened because my friends helped me. They helped me move to New York. They helped me find jobs. And we shouldn't be afraid to ask for help. Um, but for me, it was a little more than that. Uh, I know in a city where everyone has a therapist, it may not seem like a big deal, but in Missouri, there's a certain stigma with mental health. And I was in deep depression, and I had to ask for help. And being at the lowest of my low helped me do that. But whether it's something serious like mental health or something simple like which cat picture to use, uh, don't be afraid to ask for help. Glad that part's over. <laughs> uh, and the last lesson, it ain't over till it's over. Kanye West was told he could only do beats, he couldn't rap. Steve Jobs was ousted from his, old, his own company. What if this is where their stories end? We're really lucky they didn't end there. And that's why I actually don't like the word fail, because it implies that it's over, that there's finality to it. And I don't think that it is over until you say it's over. And so. If you take one thing away from my talk tonight, I want it to be this. <laughs> Don't stop believing. Um, here's my contact information. I would love to hear from you, especially if you're a university that wants to give me an honorary degree. I'm looking at you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>